In this video, we're going to be replacing the camshaft, this um, S cams. As you can see, um, they're worn out already. So this is the part we're gonna be replacing. This is the shaft and these bushings. They go inside this right here. And also we're gonna be replacing this uh, other bushing. This is where you put the grease. And that one, it's right here on the back. So we're gonna be replacing those. This is the older model Hendrickson suspension. So in order to remove this camshaft, this is the long camshaft. So we have to remove this uh, hub. On the newer trailers, newer models, you don't have to remove this hub because the, the shaft, it's a little shorter. So you can take it out without removing the, the hub. So before you start working on your camshaft, make sure you chalk your wheels and also put some jack stands on your trailer. As you can see, we have some jack stands. And also we lower the landing gear on the trailer. And we also detach the truck from the trailer just, that's, just to make sure that the, the truck won't move or the trailer or that the air suspension will go down and move pu push the, the trailer. So we're going to start by removing the camshaft. If you need a video on how, how to remove the, the hub, I'll leave the link in the description. I have a separate video for that. So we're gonna start by removing the slack adjuster. So we're gonna start by removing this snap ring right here. We're gonna use these pliers. You just take those washers out. So now we're gonna remove this safety pin. And this other pin right here. So now this luck adjuster, it's um, released. So now we're gonna remove this um, bolt right here and it takes a 11 16 wrench So now we're just gonna pull out the slack adjuster So before you start removing all the, the parts, if you want to take some pictures of it, just so you know how, it, how to put it back in, that will help you a lot. So now we're gonna just remove the slack adjuster and these washers. So now we're gonna remove this four bolts right here. It has two on the top and two on the bottom. And it takes a 3 8 socket. And just remove this bushing so now we're gonna remove this C clamps this is um, the other side and it has a C clamp right here we are just using a, a flathead screwdriver if you can't remove it with one uh, screwdriver you can use two you can just grab the C clamp from the two sides and just pull it out like that so right here you have a, a washer and you can just pull the the shaft out so here we have the old shaft so now we're gonna go ahead and remove this seals right here it has two on each side this is uh, just a flathead uh, pry bar so those two seals are out So this is the bushing, this one right here, 
This is the one we're gonna be taking out. It's uh, this one right here. This is a new one we're gonna be putting in. So we're gonna go ahead and start removing the, the bushing. So we're gonna be using this saw saw. Um, you can also use the this type of C press, but we just trying to go um, get it done. We're just gonna go ahead and cut it. So if you if you're gonna be using this uh, cutter, just make sure you don't you just cut the, the the bushing. Don't go all the way to the to the housing. Now that we cut it, we're gonna be hitting it with this uh, old S cam. So now the bushing is out. This is the bushing that came out. So now we're gonna go ahead and clean this whole area. And we're gonna start uh, putting all the, the parts in. We're gonna go ahead and clean the slack adjuster. So now we're gonna go ahead and clean the area inside. We're gonna be using this Dremel. So when you're cleaning the inside of the, the housing with the Dremel, you don't want to get into the metal. Just kind of clean the, the, the edges because you don't want to oversize the, the hole. And then the, 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 the bushing is just going to go straight in without any, any force. So when you insert this bushing, it, it kind of has to go in um, tight. With force you don't want it to be just loose inside and when you're inserting the the bushing um, as you can see it has a hole right here and you can see the hole right here in the in the middle this is for the for the grease where the grease goes in so you want to align that to those two holes so when you print your new grease every time so that it goes into the to the bushing so we're gonna go ahead and pump some grease, some new grease, just to clean the, the hole. As you can see, it's uh, dirty. You can see some old grease right here. So you just wanna get some, clean the hole. So there it goes. So now we're gonna go ahead and insert the bushing. We're gonna spray some WD-40, just so it can slide easier. So just remember to put the hole aligned to the, the hole on the inside. So right there the hole is aligned. So we're just gonna go ahead and drive it in a little bit. So we're gonna use this tool to drive the bushing in.
As you can see, the bushing is going in. Make sure it goes in straight. So we already insert the bushing. So now we're just gonna go ahead and press it a little bit more in. As you can see right now it's flushed. And right here you still, I still have some a, a big gap. So make sure when you put it in that it's right in the center of the of the housing. So we're gonna go ahead and drive it in a little bit more. You have to um, put the bushing right in the center so that the this um, seals can go right in the the edge of the two sides so we have this set up right here so so we can bring in the the bushing right in the center So here we have the bushing right in the center of the housing. This is how we measure it, just so we can get an idea that it's centered. So there it goes. And we center it because the the, the seals go inside here on, the, on both sides. And also we have the, the grease hole aligned. There it goes. So we're gonna grease the whole uh, bushing. So now we're gonna go ahead and insert the, the shaft. So this camshafts, they tend to uh, have a hard time going in. So you have to kind of adjust the, the bushing. We move this up and down until it forms uh, the shape in, in, the, in the bushing. And as you can see, the, the camshaft uh, it, it goes, um, it turns easily. That's the way it should, should be. So now that we know that the shaft fits perfectly we're gonna go ahead and install the the sills um, so we're gonna be using this hammer we try using a press but we had a hard time getting them in so we're just gonna go ahead, go ahead and use this hammer so as you can see we have it aligned evenly on the whole sill so we're gonna go ahead and start hitting the the sill little by little So we're going to be using this flathead screwdriver.
so it's now in place now we're gonna go ahead and do the, the one in the on the other side so now we're gonna start inserting the the one on the other side So there it goes, the second one is done. So we're gonna start installing the, the, the bushing. As you can see, it has a letter L. This is the left side. And we already installed the, the right side. So make sure you put the, the right side. Um, you can see the, the grease fitting on the left side. Just put back the for bolts so now we're gonna bring in the shaft we already put this metal plate already that's for the the grease that's a shell for the grease um, so now we're gonna go ahead and bring this washer in we're gonna go ahead and put some grease on the bushing and spread it around So we have this um, bushing a little loose just so that the shaft can go in straight and easier. So as you can see it turns easily. So now we're gonna go ahead and insert this C clip. That one's in already. As you can see, it turns easily. So we finished installing the shaft. As you can see, it turns easily. So if your shaft doesn't wanna turn easy, um, once you, if you try to move the shaft around and it doesn't move easy, you might want to use one of the these uh, small engine hones. Um, what we did on this one, it didn't want to turn easy. We tried to move it, we tried to like push the, the shaft up and down so we can make the, the bushing wider, but uh, it didn't. So we had to use one of these hones. We just um, inserted into the bushing, and um, that we just made a uh, the the bushing a little oversized. So basically, the 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 bushing goes into this this um, hone. It's gonna look something like this, um, but um, the 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 bushing is gonna be put into place. And we just we just um, honed it a little bit. We were using a WD-40, and um, and uh, the 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 hole and the and the bushing got a little wider. So now it's um, perfectly. It turns easy, just like this one, just like it should. So just don't over hone. So now we're gonna put the slack adjuster back in place. So we're gonna be using these washers. We're just gonna fill the this gap. So remember to put the um, slack adjuster in this trailer. 
um, it has a arrow pointing facing out facing the back side so that's the way it should go so we're just gonna uh, fill all this spaces right here with this washers I ran out of washers I have new I ran out of new washers so later on I'm gonna replace it I'm gonna leave it something like this so for now I'm gonna use this old ones So now we're just going to put this snap ring back in. So that one is in place now. So now we're going to go ahead and bring in this pin back in. And put the nut back in there. And the slack adjuster, show a line. put this pin back in there so now we have the pin right here attached to the brake chamber so now we're just gonna put a cutter pin uh, I don't have it right now but I'll be getting brand new ones and um, just remember to put it back in there and right here with this pin right here um, you have to align it to this window this little cut right here so the trailer the brakes are released right now the, the brake valve is pushed in so as you can see um, right now we have to adjust this pin as you can see this um, this little pin uh, you gotta align it to this window right here so just make sure it's aligned right there and then you just tie the nut right on top some trailers don't have this uh, align alignment thing so if you don't have that one uh, you should be fine so right here we're gonna be tightening this nut as you can see we have it aligned So one more thing I forgot to mention, um, on the camshafts, um, they do have a, a, a side, a left and a right side. So when you get your parts, make sure you ask for the, depending on which one you're working on, if you're working on the left or the right. So, and also the, on the bushings. So now I'm just gonna grease everything up. I'll uh, adjust my brakes and make sure I didn't forget to tighten any bolts or nuts and that will be it for replacing the camshafts so thanks for watching.